fluoroquinolone antibiotics, myelin damage, and neurodegeneration-like problems. In simple language, fluoroquinolone antibiotics, often called FQs, are very strong antibiotics. For example, ciprofloxacin, cipro, levofloxacin, and moxifloxacin. They are usually given for serious infections of the lungs, bladder, or prostate. For years, many people were told that the main risks were tendon problems and some nerve pain. Today, we know that in some people, the damage can go much deeper and can look a bit like early dementia or other brain diseases. To understand this, imagine your nerves as electrical wires running through your body and brain. Around these wires, there is a special coating called myelin. Myelin works like plastic insulation around an electric cable. It keeps the signal fast, clean and strong. If this coating is damaged, the signal becomes slow, messy or may not arrive at all. This can cause numbness, tingling, muscle weakness, problems with balance and also slower thinking and problems with memory. Some studies and case reports now show that fluoroquinolones can damage this myelin in certain people. Not everyone, but a vulnerable group. These people often develop burning or stabbing nerve pain, weakness, strange sensations in the feet and hands, and trouble walking. Tests on their nerves sometimes show that the myelin is injured, not just the nerve fiber inside. In simple words, the insulation is peeling off the wires. At the same time, many patients describe something even more frightening. Brain fog, feeling much older overnight, forgetting words, losing short-term memory, trouble focusing, sudden anxiety or depression, and sometimes personality changes. This full picture has been given a name, Fluoroquinolone Associated Disability, FQAD. It means a long-lasting serious illness that starts after taking one of these antibiotics and affects many systems in the body, especially the nervous system. Why can an antibiotic do this? One important answer lies in tiny structures inside our cells called mitochondria. You can think of mitochondria as the power plants of the cell. Nerve cells and brain cells need a lot of energy, so they are full of mitochondria. Fluoroquinolones can hurt these power plants, so the cell runs low on energy and produces more rust inside the cell, known as oxidative stress. Over time, this can damage the nerve fiber and the myelin around it. It can also make it harder for the body to repair the myelin once it is injured. Fluoroquinolones also disturb the balance of brain chemicals. One of these chemicals, GABA, works like a brake pedal for the brain. It calms things down. Fluoroquinolones can block this break and at the same time push on the gas pedal through another system called glutamate. When the brake fails and the gas pedal is pressed, the result can be anxiety, insomnia, agitation, depression, panic attacks, hallucinations or even seizures. Many patients who took these drugs and then developed mental health symptoms were told it was just stress or just anxiety, but we now know there is a clear biological reason why these effects can appear. Now compare this with what we see in diseases like Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. In those conditions, doctors often find damage to the white matter of the brain. This is the part that is rich in myelin and connects different brain regions. When this white matter is damaged, signals slow down and important areas of the brain stop talking to each other smoothly. The person becomes slower in thinking, loses memory, has trouble planning and organizing, and may show changes in mood and personality. This picture has some uncomfortable similarities to what many FQ injured patients describe. It is very important to be honest and precise. We do not have proof that fluoroquinolone antibiotics directly cause classic Alzheimer's disease. However, we do have enough information to say something else, which is still serious. In some people, these drugs can damage myelin hurt the cell's power plants and disturb brain chemistry in a way that produces long-lasting problems that look similar to early neurodegenerative disease. The person may feel and function as if their brain has aged 20 or 30 years in a very short time. What does this mean in practice? For doctors, it means that when a patient reports new nerve symptoms, severe insomnia, brain fog, memory problems, confusion or mood changes during or after fluoroquinolone treatment, these complaints should be taken seriously. 
Neurological examination, cognitive tests, and if possible, brain imaging can be helpful. Risk factors such as older age, previous strokes, vascular disease, previous head injury, or known white matter changes may increase vulnerability and should be considered before prescribing these drugs. For patients, it is important to know that you are not crazy or imagining things. If you feel that your brain and nerves change dramatically after a course of fluoroquinolones, there is a logical, biological explanation for why this can happen. Myelin, mitochondria and brain chemistry are real physical targets for this class of antibiotics. If you suspect you were injured, try to document your symptoms, find a doctor who is willing to listen and focus on long-term support, protecting your nervous system, managing stress, pacing activity and supporting general brain and body health as much as possible. Short disclaimer. This text is for information and education only. It is not medical advice and not a treatment plan. Do not start, stop or change any medication or therapy based on this text. Always talk to a qualified healthcare professional about your own situation. Situation.